Hello and welcome to email test skills video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to restore a single table from a, a full database backup in MySQL server. Just to carry out this demo, we will be using four steps. We will be performing all this demo in four steps. First, we are going to create a backup user. Then we will create a passwordless connection from that particular user. Then we will create a script to backup uh, all the databases. And then we will uh, restore a particular table on, on that, uh, uh, that database. So this has been um, discussed several times in the past, like how to create a user. So I'm not going to discuss this. So directly we'll go with the MySQL hyphen U root hyphen P and we'll log into the prompt. I'm logged into the prompt. Now we'll go to create a user, create user. That is the MySQL backup at localhost. And we'll see once it is created. It's just four or five commands I have executed together. You can see that MySQL backup at localhost is created. This is the first step. In the second step, what we are going to do is we are going to create a passwordless uh, a string. So let me create that passwordless string. So what we are using is MySQL config editor set. Then we give some name, uh, hyphen hyphen login path. This is the name which you have to give. Any name you can give, hyphen hyphen uh, host. I'm doing it on local host. Then the user, uh, MySQL backup, which we have just created, and the password. So the password uh, which you use during the creation is this one. So just to feed in the password. So it already exists, so I want to rename it or it will be overwritten yes and let's test it out if it has created or not so just to test or display the list of all the uh, the mysql config editor available we'll say print hyphen all so you can see there is only one uh, string uh, created for email to skills underscore mysql underscore mysql backup so let's log in with that just to test if it is working or not it's it's working fine i can for this uh, show databases, uh, this is perfectly fine. And the next step, we are going to take a backup of uh, all the databases. So it is MySQL dump hyphen hyphen login path hyphen hyphen all databases and uh, this command. It's it's very uh, very easy. So once it is uh, it is backed up, what we will do is we will drop a particular table and uh, then we will uh, try to restore it. So I'll just say I'll just say show databases. And uh, in show databases, you will see a database with the name uh, um, test DB. So this is test DB. If I say um, use test DB and we say show tables, it will sh uh, display uh, the list of uh, all the tables which are hosted under that particular database. And uh, we will pick one of the uh, table and uh, we'll drop it. So just say drop table testdb.payments. So drop uh, table is dropped. If I just say show tables, it will not show you that particular uh, table which is with the name payment. So what I'm going to do next is it is, a, it is the most important part. So we have the dump available. Out of that particular um, uh, dump, what we are going to do is using the Linux command sed because all the uh, uh, backup uh, which is available the dump backup which is available it is in the form of create a database create table statement so we just have to fetch out uh, the uh, the portion where that particular table is existing and we need to take it out to some other file and we need to restore it from that uh, uh, file so i'll just say sed hyphen n hyphen e drop table uh, the table name so this you have to feed in and uh, the dump name this is the dump name uh, uh, which which is having all the database backup and then we will redirect it to a file where that 
particular table will will be filtered out so i'm going to execute this and then i'll i'll show you how it looks so it is it is done this is my original backup which is having the backup of all the databases dump i don't want all if you see this is the size and then we have filtered the create uh, payments table statement and uh, the insert data as well so you can see the size it is uh, 11360 byte in size and this is this is too much so if i just do a vi of this particular statement you will be able to see it is drop table if exist and the create table payments and then you can see this is the data insert into payments so what i'm going to do is now the next command is just to import uh, the data so syntax is mysql hyphen hyphen login path login path name then the uh, uh, database uh, which will be uh, be uh, restored uh, from there and uh, uh, this is the one so uh, we, we just need to make sure that we are giving that particular dump only because it has only the table create a table statement so it will restore that part only so let's execute this so let us let us test uh, uh, okay we already i have already shown you that the uh, payments uh, doesn't exist as of now so let's restore it it's very very small in size so it has restored immediately so you will not see any kind of uh, error when it is successful so it has came out so that means it has inserted the data just to check uh, whether it has done its work or not let's log into the database and we'll fire the same command show databases you can see test db we didn't drop it we we dropped a particular table only we'll say um, use test db and uh, then we will say show tables and we should be able to see the payments now so you can see that payments is available in the previous when we dropped it there were seven tables now it is the eight tables so the table restoration has been completed successfully so it's it's very very easy what we have done uh, just to recap we have taken a backup or you select the backup from where it has to be restored create a user if you are not going to use root another third step uh, from the particular backup you need to filter out the create table statement using the SED command and in the fourth step you just have to restore that particular database see when I'm saying uh, restore database it is not going to restore the entire content of the database it is just the table which we have filtered out so anyways it is not going to restore anything other than the payments table which has been filtered out in that particular dump so uh, overall of this particular demo the important part is filtering out the table which has to be restored from the text file because mysql dump creates a dump file which is uh, uh, which is uh, text in nature which is text in nature and you have to to restore it from there i think it is going to help and uh, thanks for watching